In this video, guys, we will talk about the recent earthquake swarm that is happening at the supervolcano Campi Flegre, but also the effects that that constant land rise has on the port. A ferry today ran aground in Pozzuoli Harbor. So let's talk about this in this video right away, guys. Lots of news about Campi Flegre recently. That is a large volcanic system, many call it supervolcano, in Italy near Naples where millions of people are living and an evacuation is super complicated and near impossible should that volcano erupt on short notice and scientists are concerned it has been rumbling there quite frequently and just today there was another earthquake swarm happening there so it was in that caldera off Campi Flegre and a new earthquake swarm began yesterday afternoon and so far that earthquake swarm consists of 40 individual earthquakes and most of these earthquakes have magnitudes that are quite small so they are being called micro seismic events um, and they are very shallow so they're probably in the hydrothermal system and these earthquakes could be related to the movement of fluids so some earthquakes are a little bit larger though. Some have the magnitude 1.5, um, but they are like deeper. They're in the two kilometer range or even deeper. So these quakes, the larger ones, they could indicate rock fractures. So that rock is actually fracturing because there's so much pressure and movement in there. So the strongest earthquake that they could measure was 1.9 and you know for like volcanic seismic activity that is larger right We're, we don't expect like all the time like seven or eight magnitude or something like this with these volcanoes usually the earthquake swarms are in the micro seismic area with some larger ones and then it could lead to an eruption and of course if, if if it's a massive volcano we will see something very different but this could mean something's rising towards the surface and that's what they're worried about is the magma coming up so there have been reports over over the last few weeks and even month that scientists are worried that not only Campi Flegre might erupt but also Vesuvius that's also in clear proximity. So that would be an absolute disaster but Campi Flegre alone can disrupt Europe can disrupt the whole world by, world by sending a huge ash cloud in the atmosphere, causing food shortages because without sun, there is no growing, right? So it can be catastrophic. What Vesuvius can do, we have seen what it did to Pompeii. Um, it is not a good situation and especially not since People are living basically right with the volcano, right around the volcano, right on the edge of the volcano. So that is absolutely dangerous. So this earthquake swarm, and especially the larger one, was felt by residents. So reports came in to authorities that um, it was felt in the upper and lower parts of the city of Pozzuoli, that's right there at Campi Flegre, in Alco Felice, in Lucrino, in Toiano, and the district of Naples of Agnano. So that swarm of earthquakes is causing concern amongst the residents again. So they were wondering whether a strong earthquake or a volcanic eruption is in the works. So if these are just the pre signs of something bigger in the works. And you know, you have to see something else happened. So guys, since we're right in the middle of the video, I would like to ask you something. Could you leave this video a like, watch it till the end, let me know what you think and please subscribe if you haven't yet. So I'll see you in the comments and I'll see you at the end of the video. I'll put a very interesting video in the end screen that I also think you should watch. So thanks for that and let's continue with the video. So. 
the residents are concerned and these concerns are not entirely unfounded. And I tell you why. The ground lifts up at that caldera volcano and Potsuli is right there, basically. So the land rise because of that magma and everything that's going on is now so great that they cannot ignore it anymore. So since 2011, it has been rising by about a meter 20. So that is quite significant. Imagine your land is rising a meter 20. So that is, is, is something. So that uplift phase even began much earlier than 2011. So it began in 2005. And if you look at it, then it's even a little bit more than a meter 20 if you add that rise before. And the yesterday at low tide, there was a ferry that wanted to enter into the harbor. And the ferry's name was Rosa da Bundo. And then it wanted to dock in the port of Pazuli as usual and it was coming from the island of Ischia and then it ran aground. So the passengers were only able to leave the ship after some time. So a second ship came to aid the stranded ferry and apparently took over the passengers and then brought them to safety to the shore. So no one was injured, thankfully, but the event shows once again, guys, how much ground in the harbor has risen already. You know, it's always a problem for many harbor communities to keep their harbor deep enough. So they have to constantly do something, dig it out. I mean, it depends on the nature of the harbor. But, you know, having a harbor rise about a meter 20, so now the water the depth is a meter 20 less. So that's a problem for larger boats that are used to be able to get into that harbor. So it's the opposite of what we have seen in Grindavik, for example, after the November 10th magma intrusion, the harbor was sinking, was actually getting deeper. So Port Authority says, well, at least that's not bad. The land was subsiding. But, and by the way, if you're interested in what's going on in, in Iceland with all these volcanic eruptions, that are threatening the town of Grindavik and the infrastructure, check out my channel. I'll put one in the end screen, but I have a huge playlist that explains everything. And stay tuned with that because an eruption can happen at any second. There was just a major earthquake today near Grindavik. I'll put that video in the end screen. So the harbor of Potsuli, that is definitely not good. So when they had everything solved and evacuated, um, they became aware that this event shows once again that, you know, further problems are inevitable. Whatever is going to happen, if it's causing a huge eruption or not, but it's already causing disruptions and trouble. So yesterday also the Civil Protection Commission of Italy and the Scientific Advisory Board have discussed these events at the Campi Flegrei and they confirmed that they have a yellow alert status in the area and they're saying that the geophysical parameters are unchanged and that the events this earthquake swarm corresponds to expectations in this phase of the Brady seism that they're currently having with the land rise and everything um, but also apparently they did discuss whether they should increase the alert level and they should raise it to alert level orange. So definitely they are concerned about something. So we can't ignore that. We can't rule that out. Let's have a little bit of a deeper look into this, what this really means for the area. What does the Brady seism of Campi Flegrei really mean? So this is a phenomenon that proves that the subsoil is anything but stable in this area and that there is a lot of ground movement in this area around Pozzoli reaching into Naples. And it is especially along the Gulf of Pozzoli where the earth rises and falls regularly of up to three meters. So even in the ancient Roman times, guys, the earth movements were so strong that the ancient 
town of Marcellum sank below sea level and you can see still traces of that um, and the ancient columns that are still left that you can see today they are proof of that they show that they have been underwater they show in the signs so these earth movements usually take place in like rhythmic phases and they are always accompanied by earthquakes if their land rises and if it subsides subsides so between 1969, for example, and 1972, and then again between 1982 and 1984, there were two such phases. And the coast rose and fell by about a meter 80. So more than 10,000 minor earthquakes occurred during these phases. And numerous buildings in the old town of Pazzuli were badly damaged and had to be extensively renovated. These are old stone buildings. These are not buildings that are built to any modern seismic codes. It's an historic town. So according to recent research, these Brady seisms are caused by the intrusion of fluids into the subsurface of that caldera volcano. And in the year 2000 and 2001, the ground rose by 90 centimeters, so almost a meter, and uh, a seismic crisis came with it. So the Italian office that oversees that, the INGV, was on the verge of issuing evacuation recommendations because there were fears of another volcanic eruption. So thousands of people would be affected by such an eruption today, only in the close proximity of that volcano. But then we have the city of Naples with more than 3 million people. So even in that caldera, in that area, there's numerous settlements in that caldera, and that caldera spans square kilometers. It's, it's a big system. So there are even apartment buildings right basically on top of the volcano, and as far as to the crater rim, they're already going that far. And so what has happened since 2011? Because since then, it's been quite significant. So the scientists have recorded an increase in earthquake activity since then. And also that activity is, of course, accompanied by ground deformation. So the monthly uplift rate was recently about 15 millimeters. That's a little more than an inch per month. So swarm earthquakes keep occurring again and again. And compared to the other phases of the past, they come with ground deformation. And But this time, since 2011, the ground is rising more slowly. So you might want to say, oh, that's a good thing, right? So we don't have to be so concerned because it's not rising quickly. So is that a, a less chance for an eruption? No, guys. It's actually quite the opposite. And why is that? It does sound positive initially, um, but it is alarming because there are indications that this time magma that's coming to the surface is responsible for the uplift and not gases or fluids or something else, magma. And we know what it means if magma is trying to reach the surface. This increases the potential for an eruption. So the magma is responsible for the uplift of the subsoil and not just hydrothermal deep water that might push the land, make the land rise. So magma is not really great if that's the cause for that. So if that super volcano erupts, what are the consequences? because it's near Naples. So although Vesuvius is considered Naples' mount of fate, a super eruption at the Campi Flegri would have a far more dramatic outcome for the metropolitan area in the Gulf of Naples, way worse than anything that Vesuvius could do although it's 15 kilometers away. So an eruption 
would most likely destroy a larger eruption, would most likely destroy the homes of roughly 4 million people, guys. 4 million people. Imagine that happening in Italy. So, and then, depending on the wind direction, an eruption of a magnitude that would be a little, if it was higher than what I just described, it's classified as VEI-8, would even cover Rome. 250 kilometers away, it would cover Rome with ash. So really, you have to consider that magnitude of what that thing can do. So the ash cloud would then overcome the mountain range of the Alps and then cause an ash fallout in Germany, for example. Air traffic over Europe would come to a standstill and such a catastrophe would have fatal consequences for the global economy. And there is a scientific work, work that has just been finished recently where researchers assume that an eruption can begin much earlier and faster than it was believed until recently. And that's why they're so concerned when they see what's happening right now. Because there are increasing signs that that volcano is preparing to erupt. Let's remember the volcanic eruption that we just recently had in 2010 in Iceland. So I'm trying to pronounce this. Eyjafjallajökull. Um, that did already cause chaos, although it was a relatively weak eruption. So about 0.14 cubic kilometers of tephra was pushed out in the first three days when that happened in spring 2010, creating an ash cloud. So it's not hard to imagine what a volcanic eruption of the Campi Fligrei would cause because it would spit out a thousand times more of ashes into the atmosphere. And that's why this is such a dangerous volcano, not only for the 4 million residents, but also for whole Europe, for the whole world. If everything is covered with ashes, you can't do agriculture, you can't grow food, the sun can't come through. And it's proven that in the past, this has caused like many ice ages for a certain period of time. So this is something that definitely needs to be taken serious. And that's why I am monitoring this volcano, guys. So that was my update about Campi Flegre. It's rumbling in Iceland as well. Check out this video in the end screen and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys thank you so much for your support on my buy me a coffee side and for the supers you keep sending me here you guys are absolutely awesome so i hope you're having a safe great morning day or evening if you're in the morning just have a coffee with me and i'll see you soon guys bye bye